Hello and welcome to the ATC News Magazine. This show will highlight news and special events happening around the Denton ISD district and the local community. I am Jacob Galvan from Geyer High School, senior and a student in the audio video productions class at the ATC. The audio video productions class spent time with the ATC principal Marcus Borland discussing the big projects several classes at the ATC have taken on. Here's an update on what's going on with the ATC food bus. So what exactly are we looking at, um, at when we look at this bus? Right now, uh, just a big ugly school bus, uh, but the, the plans are, are pretty amazing as far as where we're going. Uh, you can see there's a lot of work to be done mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be a challenge. But, uh, right now, a, a school bus that is already drawn out and planned out and headed in the right direction to be a food truck. What modifications are you actually going to do to this bus itself to make it into a food truck? Uh, it's a pretty big change. I mean, we're going to be completely gutting out the inside of the bus. Uh, we'll be making sure that um, we we are putting in the implements that will be useful for the students because it needs to be a full functioning uh, culinary kitchen. Uh, so our kids can go and, and just as they would be in a classroom for the culinary lab, they can have that in a rolling form. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're looking at a lot of different modifications, um, and we didn't even mention yet the uh, Cisco networking and putting in uh, mobile Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and all the electrical cool. systems that we want to put in to make it high tech. Why did you actually decide to do this and create a food truck school bus? Okay, well, the idea was developed because we have a culinary program that's run out of space. Mm -hmm. um, we need to expand, but we don't really have room to expand a kitchen in a building. We'll also do, it gives us an opportunity, number one, to use nine different programs here mm -hmm. to jump in and build uh, a project together that's pretty amazing. Tells the school story of what we do um, because we will actually have that on one side of the bus where it's displays the pictures and, and the, the process that it took for students to make this. Uh, it gives kids, students the opportunity to truly see a project from beginning to end in the planning stages, development, and see it done. So it's multifaceted. And even though it was a great idea for culinary, yeah. it, it's grown into something that's really going to be exciting for the school in general. Well, I'm excited to actually hear about this then. Yeah, but, uh, it's good. Thank you for uh, your time. All right, thank you. Thanks to Mr. Borland for spending time with the news crew and helping us with this report. Stay tuned, there will be more stories on the ATC food bus in the future. Several weeks ago, the ATC law enforcement classes held a Carter Bank blood drive. Here's a report from James Huffines and an extensive interview with the ATC teacher Kelly Belcher about the community project. <laughs> Thanks, James, for that report. The ATC blood drive was a huge success, and we hope to have more donors turn out in May. Thanks for watching the first edition of the ATC News Magazine, and we hope to bring you a few more stories and events about the Denton ISD School District soon.